Dr. Lester Grinspoon is an associate professor emeritus of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School and the author of several books, including his infamous works, Marijuana Reconsidered and Marijuana, the Forbidden Medicine. Dr. Grinspoon originally set out to write Marijuana Reconsidered as a book against marijuana, but as his research progressed, he realized the complexities of the plant and was moved to advocate for legalization. He also had a more personal motivation. His son, Danny, was dying from cancer, and cannabis was clearly providing him great relief during his chemotherapy treatments. We sat down with Dr. Grinspoon as he poignantly explained. I'm Dr. Lester Grinspoon, an emeritus uh, associate professor of psychiatry at the Harvard Medical School. I started to study marijuana in 1967 because I felt many of the young people today were ignoring the warnings of the federal government about how dangerous marijuana was. And I wanted to help them to understand this important truth. Dr. Lester Grinspoon uh, is a famous Harvard psychiatrist who's done a ton of work in the marijuana field. And his book, Marijuana, the Forbidden Medicine, was a big inspiration to me. I, of course, became acquainted with the uh, 19th century, its use as a medicine. Danny went on to have acute lymphocytic leukemia. Chemotherapies, uh, substances which gave him awful nausea and vomiting. In fact, it's a kind of nausea that one can feel right down to the fingertips. The person responsible for uh, the care of my son. He said, I want to tell you a story. And he told me the story of a 17-year-old boy who had leukemia and was being treated for it and got to the point where he, he was so uh, distressed. The nausea and vomiting that would follow the chemotherapy, he threatened to stop taking it. And he had to be really pushed to take it each time. And then one day he came in he got up on the gurney, had his injection, and uh, got off the injection and just sort of uh, waved to the team goodbye. Uh, and he had, he, it was an entirely different situation. This doctor asked him why, and he said, oh, it's easy. I just take a few puffs on a joint before I, about 20 minutes before I come in, and I don't have any of that nausea and vomiting. Now, my wife, on our way home that night, she said, why can't we get some marijuana for Danny? I said, well, because it's against the law. I, <laughs> she was dissatisfied with that answer, and so was I. And usually when I walked into the treatment room, his face was just, just anticipatory anxiety. And, and so, and it, of course, was uh, uh, reflected in her face and it would soon be reflected in mine when I get it. Just to see him was so uncomfortable. And um, this time I walked into the treatment room and uh, she and Danny were joking. They were having a, a fun conversation. And I, you know, I, I couldn't understand it. And finally, Betsy told me that Danny had smoked some marijuana in the packing lot that she had gone up to the Wellesley High School and asked his friend Mark, could he get her just a little bit of marijuana? And Mark, once he got over his, uh, his amazement that Mrs. Grinspoon would ask him for some marijuana, ran off and came back a few minutes later with a small amount of marijuana. It was just amazing. He got off the gurney, he was fine, in the past, we had always taken him home. He was vomiting, and we, he'd get in bed, and we'd put a bucket by his bed. For eight hours, he would be miserable. He got off the gurney, he said, hey, Mom, there's a sub shop over on Brookline Avenue. Could we get subs on the, to, to eat on the way home? And uh, Betsy, once she got over her surprise, they went to the sub shop, they had subs. And then he said, I'd like to go back to school today. That's what he did. And Danny never had to go through that discomfort again for as long as he lived, which was another year. 
Lester made incredible sacrifices to do what was right, and it made it easier for researchers like me to do the same. You know, here are two cases, Jimmy and Danny. What, what about all the other children who have to go through this? Adults who have to go through this. Uh, this is insane not to explore whether this isn't something that could be more widely used. It is a remarkable medicine. I'm Rick Steves, and you're watching Cannabis Planet.